After review, it has been determined that the receiver did not maintain. I gotta have more cowbell. Um. Welcome to And the NFL. That sounds very familiar to another NFL-based podcast name. Oh, tell me more. Around the NFL. Okay. <laughs> but are their names on their Instagrams... No. So-and-so around the NFL? No. No. So their branding's off. Ours, however, is Ash in the NFL, Chris in the NFL, on Instagram. Follow us. Exactly. And, and together... We are... <laughs> we... We are not very good at synchronising when or when not we're going to speak. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the And the NFL podcast. It's an off-season podcast just to, you know, keep you interested in the NFL. We know how it goes, you know, Super Bowl's over, hangover's done, mm -hmm. and then it's like, can't be bothered to even pay any attention. So yeah, but we don't want to make it NFL focused because it is the off season, so there's nothing happening. It, well, you say there is nothing happening. The last 24 hours um, have been absolutely wild, but you are true. Sometimes there are ups and downs in the off season. There can be nothing happening for ages, and that's why we're here to talk about this, that, and everything. And, and the NFL. That was good. So oh, we that nice. One yeah. It's almost like we've been working together on end zone all season and have some sort of chemistry. Oh, who would have guessed? Mm. <laughs> So if you don't know who we are, I'm Chris, and this is Ash. Hello. And we co-host a small segment on Channel 5's NFL End Zone mm -hmm. every Sunday morning during the season, 10.35. There's no point trying to watch it now because it's not on. Nope. Um, but we were like, okay, well, I like seeing you every week to do the filming. You like seeing me every week. So why don't we just talk uh, on a podcast give someone something to listen to when they're cleaning or going to work or going to school. Mm -hmm. and you Even know, walking the dog. Walking the dog's a good time to listen to podcasts. Yeah. I mean, 100%. It's a nice short one as well. We're not on for, you know, an hour, an hour and a half of your time. I just um, said that with such confidence, like I walk a dog and have a dog and have a dog. No, just no. a pet rock. Hard to walk. True. Just dragging that along. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but see, we're not even talking about NFL already. And um, that's what it's going to be. This is the vibe that yeah. we're going for. It's going to be random. It's going to be random. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Is it going to be explicit? Will there be an explicit warning? Um, You know what? I'm here for it. Because we accidentally swear quite a lot. We do. We were very good with Channel 5, though. We kept it nice and professional. Snaps for us. Well done. Mm -hmm. Um, But this one may be no holes barred to a certain extent. Okay, so we yeah. can say shits and giggles without getting in trouble oh we can indeed um yeah i mean i'm here for it always <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's the plan with this this is a weekly podcast released every sunday yeah 10 35 we're going to keep it in sync with what we did with channel 5 so exactly. yeah 10 35 every sunday um coming to you throughout the off season mm -hmm. um every week yeah and we might talk about some off season stuff we might not we might talk about what we have for dinner we might not yeah we might have a guest or two on a hint hint surprise surprise there yeah i think we are trying to weight it with as many guests as possible because let's be honest i wouldn't want to listen to a podcast with just me and you on it oh well there will be some people out there who are very here for you and me chris but no you're true um <laughs> shout yeah. out dom and shelly yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah dom and shelly i love that yeah um avid listeners great um yeah, no, but I think guess it's very important, um, and it gives just a bit of a bit of weight yeah. to what we're here for as well. Um, exactly, shows yeah. we can get people if we tried. <laughs> yeah, if we tried. <laughs> yeah. Pleases and thank yous all the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I reckon we should start with a bit of background about what teams we like. Oh, that's true, yeah. So if you don't know us, don't know our backgrounds, haven't mm. followed us on socials already, um, I mean, I'll go first, kickstart things off. Go on then, you were talking already. Yeah, so I am a big cheesehead. I am, of course, a Green Bay Packers fan. Um, the last 24 hours have been absolutely ecstatic for me. Mm -hmm. um, this will give you an insight as to when we are recording this as well. Um, but yeah, regardless of all the situation, whatever's been happening, I'm just super stoked that both Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams We'll be coming to London. Okay. Um, I'm here for this. Super excited. And hopefully we'll be there live to see them. Oh, I, I've, you know what? There is a solid chance I will be super emotional if 
somehow miracles do happen i get the chance to meet aaron Rodgers. well fingers crossed manifest it as you say oh i'm manifesting hard um if anybody is listening to this <laughs> knows him yeah and, and sort us out on <laughs> a date yeah. <laughs> nothing serious maybe just dinner wine oh, I'm, um, oh netflix and chill netflix and chill yeah. <laughs> imagine yeah He'll just make you rewatch his MVP speech like he did <laughs> for all his mates after. <laughs> I love that story. Oh, my God. You know what? For those um, that don't know, Aaron Rodgers gave his MVP speech, then got all his mates back to the hotel room and then was like, let's do a director's cut of this. Yeah, but it wasn't a, let's just watch what I'm going to do. He gave like a step by step and muted it as well. Um, and Here's I'm, what I was saying here. Yeah. And you know what? I'm here for that. I'm here... I'm here for the level of confidence. Some people might say arrogance. <laughs> yeah. I'm here for arrogance, the confidence. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, you know what? Back to back MVP. I'm stoked that Aaron Rodgers is coming back. But you know what? Put your money where your mouth is now. We've got to win a Super Bowl. That's yeah. it. I mean, I love the... This is just... I wish I knew what it was like to have that much confidence in my franchise. Yeah. You know, just to be able to say, oh, yeah, my starting quarterback's back-to-back MVP rather than, oh, my starting quarterback's a back-to-back free agent that got released after a year or broke his leg or hip. Shout out Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, yeah, speaking about that, though, so what team do you support, Chris? Uh, I'm not going to say the name. I'm refusing to say the name throughout this entire podcast series. I, I mean, that's to, a long off-season without saying the name. I'm going to refer to them as Washington. Okay, yep, yeah, I'm here for that. Okay, yeah. and I'll give you a clue. It's not the Huskies. <laughs> uh it is the artist formerly known as the R Word, <laughs> for two years known as the Washington Football Team, which I think was a great name. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I'm I'm here for it. I w- kind of wish they would have just stayed with it. Yeah, it's the thing everyone was saying it was a bad name, but then they released the new name, and it was like, oh, actually, that name wasn't so bad. Yeah. You know, all you needed to do was release the new name. Mm-hmm. We'll say the C word. We won't say the C word, <laughs> but that's what I'm going to call them. Okay. The C word. So that's the one explicit word that we just won't say throughout the whole of the throughout the whole of this podcast. Which c word? Oh, both. Both of them. Fine, that's a yeah. good call. Okay. I think that's a solid rule for any podcast. Try not to say the c word. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they are probably not coming to London. There was a small moment where I was very excited because I got told by an inside piece of info from I'm not going to say his name but it rhymes with Shmefe Shmabada <laughs> that Ron Rivera tried to trade for him to get him to go to Washington with the incentive that Washington would be playing in London in 2022 so I've held on to that for two years we saw the schedule come out I know. it was Washington home versus Green Bay and we were like okay the Packers aren't going to give up a home game no that's the game they're going to it's going to be Washington Green Bay me and you the ultimate story going to watch our teams yeah there was rumor that we were going to trade for Aaron Rodgers so I was making fun of you saying wouldn't it be funny if we watched Aaron Rodgers but he was playing for my team I, mean, <laughs> I would have thrown my toys out of the pram yeah yeah I, that... wouldn't. I would have been very happy oh yeah no you would have been like completely rubbing my face in it mm. yeah but no um Washington can't seem to convince anyone to play for them um they offered the house to Russell Wilson and the Seahawks and he said absolutely not when he goes to Denver um, I'm sure they they apparently called the Chiefs about Patrick Mahomes. I can't imagine that was a very long phone call. Um, the balls, actually, can I just say, on a team to go in for somebody like Patrick Mahomes, he ain't leaving the Chiefs. No. Um, but, I mean, yeah, ballsy move on Washington. Desperate, I think, is the word you're looking for. Yeah, We're what desperate. a nice adjective. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's my team. The desperation manoeuvres Washington C-words. <laughs> Uh, but you know what, though? I mean, is there a chance that Washington could come to London? No. We no. came in 2016. Um, we're not playing any of the teams away that are scheduled here. Mm. Um, we drew against the Bengals in 2016. Um, absolute shocker. Yeah. And that was it, yeah. So I don't know when I'm going to get to see my beloved team. But then again, I did live in D.C. and did get to see them live quite a few times at FedEx, which was good. Got to see RG3's magical run against Minnesota. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that was the highlight oh. of literally every Washington fan's, you know, career, I think. Yeah. When there was hope. Because that's what we do. We build hope, then we dash it against the rocks. You know what, though? You're not the only team in the NFL to have that, though. No, I know. Um, I mean, the Falcons, for one. Mm-hmm. I think they're just a team clinging on for dear life every season, and mm. then they choke. Um, but that's also an interesting division because Tom Brady's no longer in the NFL. 
Uh, but that people always love a story and stuff. Imagine if he comes out of retirement. Yeah. Just because. I just... think he might just because he's he'll get bored. He'll get bored of crypto, and be like. Is he into what? crypto now? He advertised crypto on the Super Bowl, and I never noticed. Oh, he did. And I never noticed before, but crypto and Bitcoin in particular spiked to like fifty-one grand per Bitcoin, and I realised it was because it was the Super Bowl advert. Well, apparently there were so many crypto adverts in the Super Bowl. Um, I was watching, I don't know what broadcast I was watching, but I didn't see any Super Bowl commercials, unfortunately. Oh, well, you um, didn't hear it either, because you uh, no, a place the, that didn't have the sound on. The sound was not great. Did I hear any of the halftime show? No. Yeah. Um, had to rewatch that. Well, um, I had COVID, so it was better than what, what happened to me. No, I know. Oh, how unfortunate. Yeah. What, a, what a bummer of a time to get COVID, can I just say? Yeah, but, it, wasn't, it wasn't ideal. No, but um, you're alive and kicking, mm-hmm. glad to say, yeah. Um, oh, but yeah, fascinating in the crypto stuff. Mm. I think we'll get bored of it. Mm. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and yeah, who knows what will happen with the Bucks. I don't think they're going to win another Super Bowl for a while, I'm going to be honest. No, but they are coming over to Germany though. That will be a... An interesting one. Yeah, and I've got to be honest, I don't know why they didn't go with the Patriots for that. Because it just seems Mm. to make so much sense. You have such a huge fan base over in Germany for New England. Jakob Johnson, German player, is fullback for the Patriots. I mean, it just made too much sense in my eyes. Yeah. I mean... Speaking about Germany, though, I am very excited for the German game. Oh, we're going. Um, partly because I've always wanted to go to Oktoberfest anyway. Right. I mean, on, like, just a bit about Irish. me. Anyway. Irish, yeah. yeah. I love beer. Yeah, Irish. I love sausages. Irish. Bratwurst, love yeah. it. Um, and football, what a better trio to have. Mm. Um, and it also means just getting out of England for a weekend. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go. Yeah. I think it's in the budget for Channel 5. Hint, hint. Yeah, I think we'll be there. <laughs> I mean, that would just be amazing. Um... They'll never tell me the story about when the Germans came here. So for, the, for those that don't know, I own a company called National Vintage League. Uh, check us out online, www.nationalvintageleague.com. Plug. Sorry. There will be a plug, a plug. <laughs> every single episode. Um, and we sell vintage, you know, NFL stuff, other American sports stuff. And one day, these three Germans turned up at the warehouse, uninvited, gave us no warning. And they were like, we are here for the NFL. I was like... Is that your German accent, by yeah, the way? Yeah, that was actually perfect. You weren't that... there. It was actually exactly Spot like Spot on. And if okay. they're listening now, they would be like, oh my God, he sounds it, like me. Chris, is he German? Um, <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, yeah, sure, what team do you like? They're like, the New England Patriots? That was less accurate. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and so I was showing them jerseys, and then I showed them a jersey of a Patriots player called Terry Glenn. Right, okay. Terry Glenn had number 88. Okay. Did you know the significance of the number 88 in Germany? You, m- maybe, but explain it to me okay. one more time. For me, bad, the bad oh. number, not okay. good number, almost banned in Germany. Oh, what, completely? Completely. Do but, people just like go without their 88th birthday? Um, that's a good question. Um, they probably celebrate 87 and one. Oh, okay. Um, I'll tell you what, any German listeners out there, feel free to let us know. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a turn while I tell you why it's banned. Okay. But the eighth letter of the alphabet is H. Uh, so I see where we're going. H, H. I'm not going to spell it out for you, but in mm. Germany, a phrase that begins H, H yeah. is generally not considered a cool phrase in this day and age. Okay. You know what? Now I know. Mm. That'll be something to not bring up when we go to Germany. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed, actually, oh, to bring it up. I think you go... Is it, what, like, full-on illegal? Or is I, it just not, yeah, you know, think, just don't yeah, do it? It's, yeah, it's not really a good look, really, is it? Mm. Oh, in, you know what? As you say, Chris, every day is a school day. Yeah. Now I know. And it's interesting that even in the inaugural episode of the podcast, somehow we're already talking about Hitler. <laughs> and the NFL! <laughs> That is a perfect summary of what this is oh going to be like. What a Venn diagram can I just say to have? Yeah. <laughs> Moving Who would have swiftly guessed? on. Yeah, we'll just park that maybe to the side. Yeah. yeah. We're getting into a niche a niche realm of podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah <exactly. laughs> we're getting the wrong fan base immediately <laughs> out of the gate. Oh, but you know, at least we're not um, sing- like singling anyone out. <laughs> Right, no. A podcast for all people. Very inclusive podcast, this. Yeah. Yeah, we are, you know, supporters of every person in the world, obviously, apart from people that like the number 88 in Germany. But exactly. other than them, 
Anyone can listen to this podcast. Yeah. You're welcome. Very true. Um, but yeah, no, I'm super excited to be doing this with you, Chris. Um, oh, that's nice. Oh, I know. I mean, I know we have our banter. Mm-hmm. We rip on each other. Mm-hmm. We're very competitive individuals. Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited to do this throughout the off season. And, you know, it gives me an excuse to come to London every week. I know, because you're not based in London, are you? No. Um, um, we're not going to tell the listeners where you live. I think that might be weird. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> highly doubt anybody's going to rock up to my house <laughs> I'd be like hello but yeah. who knows who knows who knows you don't know how famous you could get oh. I'm sure Kay Adams doesn't give her a dress out no <sighs> what an inspiration she is absolutely love her to bits but um yeah well you've you've yeah. chatted to her haven't you I have oh I remember the first time that I spoke to her this is all just on Instagram live so never in person but fingers crossed maybe one day pandemic nothing's in person anymore yeah, true. Everything's on Zoom, mm. Teams, online, whatever. But um, yeah, no, proper fan girl. I forgot that I had to like ask her a question, <laughs> and I was just like sat there, just like Google eyes. <laughs> you forgot you weren't just watching the interview. Yeah, no, I forgot. I was like, <laughs> oh shit, she can see me too. I was like, oh hello. <laughs> Went proper like proper fan girl. I was like, hi, just so you know, I'm a big fan. <laughs> like blushing away, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe we'll get her on this podcast. But speaking of which, I mean, there are loads of new, strong, powerful, up-and-coming women in the NFL mm. all over the place now, from coaching staff to punditry to Very personalities. Um, 100% here for it. And not on Zoom, but in real life, our first guest is one of those women. Oh, you know what? I'm actually super excited. Um, and especially um, recently, International Women's Day. I think it's so important stuff to big up the women in the industry as well. Um, but yeah, to have... Somebody from the UK, um, somebody that's well known throughout NFL UK and stuff as well, mm-hmm. um, on Sky Sports, Talk Sport, like she's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, this is going to be a really exciting person to chat to um, and obviously talk a little bit about the NFL with. And the NFL. And the NFL, yeah. Not about the NFL. I think we might mm-hmm. play a little fun game with her as well. Oh, I'm here for the games. Always here for a fun game. I think we should make that a thing. I used to do that on my old podcast. Games are fun. Game, games are super fun. <laughs> yeah. Stop the press. Games are fun. <laughs> well, only the hottest takes on the yeah. and the NFL podcast. <laughs> games are fun. Hitler, bad. <laughs> games, fun. <laughs> What's one thing you learned from episode one? <laughs> Classic. Yeah. So, I guess without further ado, we should introduce her. Ladies and gentlemen, Hannah Wilkes. Woo! Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was- I was unexpectedly enthusiastic. <laughs> I know, I know. I bring my A game. I like Every day it. is game day. I feel very important. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> As Ash knows, the way to get me to do anything is to appeal to my ego. So yeah, I'm well, in. <laughs> yeah. But the queen of NFL UK, you are our first guest on and the NFL podcast. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I didn't realise I was the first one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. No, what I know. Exciting, <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously, um, so we know that you were in LA for the Super Bowl. You are a Rams fan as well. So I mean... Wearing for... a great jacket, yes. by the way. Do you want to in do the a... evenings, in the evenings, I was wearing a great jacket. I remained neutral. In fact, I wore all neutral. I was wearing cream in the Super Bowl, so I couldn't be accused of anything. <laughs> Can I ask, as... A presenter mm. do you have to be neutral then or are you allowed to wear well so this is a common misconception i think with people on tv generally there is nothing as far as i'm aware i'm sure sky hr can correct me nothing in my contract that says you have to be fully impartial we're not covering politics we're covering sport mm. but obviously you've got to be balanced because otherwise yeah. it's a bit one-sided or whatever um i did have I did have um, the tips of my nails were Rams blue. That was my whole I thing. The whole week, wait, the whole week through, I was like, I know the tips of my nails. There's gonna are be Rams blue. No one else is gonna know, <laughs> but I'm gonna know. There'll be someone out there who'll be like zooming in on a picture and yes. just being like, well, we all know who Hannah's supporting. Well, I mean, also it's like, yeah, there's not. I wore that wonderful vintage Rams oh, jacket right. on overtime, but I did have to check with the producer first. And he was like, oh, it's a cool jacket, and it's not like it's not obvious. Obviously, it's not like it was covered in it. But obviously, if I was wearing something like that on the Super Bowl coverage, it wouldn't look the most professional. I mean, if we were talking about this earlier, if the Packers played a Super Bowl at home, you can guarantee I would pay good money to be there, but decked out fully. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. Um, but what I've often done is I've often had, like, a Rams token in my bag. So when I went to the Super Bowl the first time, I could have been way more impartial because I wasn't doing the full coverage. I was doing a different show out there. But, like, I had a Rams 
this hat in my bag all week and you know you have these little like you t- take these little things with you yeah. so you feel like you, you've got I ate lamb them. for dinner every night <laughs> yeah. oh, so no, I had sheep inside me yeah. <laughs> but no you have to you know keep it professional look balanced and in the heat of the moment I was definitely not entirely professional throughout that final fourth quarter but <laughs> oh, I, only, I only annoyed the broadcasters around me it wasn't going out anywhere <laughs> yeah oh no but absolutely amazing and you got to see the Rams play at home even though technically they weren't the home team it was the Bengals were the home team yeah, I don't think that even factored into it you know yeah like it was it was their stadium yes there was no Rams banners it was all the Super Bowl branding and yeah. my one thing is I need to go back there and see it decked out in right. Rams colours um but it felt, because it was in LA, it felt like it had that Rams home vibe too, although the crowd was very mixed. I was going to ask about the crowd. Was it obviously, was everyone either wearing Bengals or Rams stuff or nothing at all? No, no one was much. turning up in a Blake Bortles, Jacksonville Jaguars no. jersey. No, so what was in well, Who's the Rams quarterback well, for a little bit? <laughs> for up five minutes. Yeah. third string. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> played a snap. Um, there was a rem- I was like, oh, Blake Bortles is at the snap. <laughs> um, what was interesting was the week leading up to the Super Bowl, the Friday, Saturday before, when the Super Bowl experience is open to all the fans and they're all like descending on the convention centre where all the like this basically like a huge NFL theme park. Um, the line for that it was a lot of Rams, a lot of Bengals, but then you did see different jerseys mm-hmm. because it was anyone who lives in LA. And for someone they didn't have a team, so there's a lot of different teams supported there. So this one woman who I actually interviewed, she was decked out in Saints black and gold, and she was like, I don't care about either of these teams, but it's in my home city. Yeah, I'll support the Rams because I live here, but I'm a I'm a Saints fan at heart. But she was wearing her Saints gift for that, and you you did see saw a lot of 49ers jerseys, which gave me some like I was like, oh, good for them. They're being big about it, but also like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, what's interesting is, you know, when Americans especially come over for the London games, they say it's like Super Bowl atmosphere because you see all 32 jerseys. You don't see all 32 jerseys at Super Bowl. You see two. You maybe see an occasional different team, but either you're in team colours or you just go dressed in normal yeah clothes. I mean if you're yeah. paying that much money I think I would only pay that much money if I was a big fan of the team yeah well, yeah there is that yeah mm. yeah or, uh, or, or a superstar that lived in LA and didn't have anything else to do well yeah. exactly so they all just wear their best yeah game day right I'm a celebrity going to yeah. any funny celebrity look. stories that you saw that we d- that didn't make the screen no tantrums Prince Harry was there Oh, good old. oh, he got backlash on social media though for being there. Why? Well, everybody was just like, I think it's just the controversies and stuff that's happening over here anyway. But um, yeah, Twitter got alive for a little I bit. I don't see why. Why not? He lives like two hours away. I would have loved. They to... Obviously, got a free ticket. Yeah. Those things are expensive. <laughs> I don't care whether you're royalty or whatever region of that he is now. I would have yeah. loved it if they'd focused on him. And then the commenters gone, oh, Andy Dalton's here. <laughs> Support his old team. They're very discreet. I don't. <laughs> Imagine. They're very discreet. I don't think you saw him on the cover. I didn't actually really see any celebrities apart from football, the, the footballing type. Yeah. So I did have a fangirl moment when I saw Todd Gurley on Radio Row. And the next thing, my produ- I knew my producer was like, oh, we'll see if we can get him. And then I was having to interview him and not mention that my fantasy football team is still called Runs Like a Girly. Um, <laughs> oh, you cool. should have mentioned cool. it. I should have. <laughs> I was a massive fan of Nando's. Oh, Always how comes bizarre. Up. As soon as I start talking to players or four players with a British accent, they'll go, oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's really good. When you have to explain, though, I always get from American friends, they're like, what is a cheeky Nando's? And I'm like, it's difficult. It's a cheeky Nando's. Yeah. yeah I'm like, exactly. it's, and they're like, but what makes it cheeky? And I'm like, oh, it's just so difficult to explain just to non Nando's. British people. Yeah. yeah. They all love it. We yes. were um, talking, I, I, um, FA loves a Nando's. Um, well, he's a Brit. So exactly. he, gets, he understands what a cheeky Nando's is. And when, yeah. he, when he came over the Panthers, he took like 12 of the Panthers players to Nando's and I was like so what did they think of the Nando's he was like well the people that didn't like it I'm just not in contact with anymore <laughs> <laughs> they are <laughs> just out. Cut them out they are dead world. to me yeah, exactly. um, oh, yeah no it's um, sort of FA as well a couple of times he's a wonderful human he is and he's an yeah. FA at the moment free agent so hopefully yeah fingers crossed he comes to all our teams Split him in three. Oh, right. Split him in three, definitely. That's interesting, actually, yeah. where his landing spot could be. It was tough for him at the Bills, trying to break into that. Well, it was a, basically, he, he told us that the reason he went to the Bills was because he was in line for a starting job. And then mm. that draft, they also drafted a defensive end. Yeah. Um, so it kind of, he, he got a little bit done over there because I really wanted him to come to Washington. Ron Rivera said he wanted to trade for him during the season. But we just, you know, we had Chase Young and Montez Sweat. 
Washington fan. Washington fan. I didn't know that. How do you feel about Commanders? We, I forgot about it until the other day, and I was like, why is everyone talking about the... Com- oh, yes, that's Sorry, Washington. we should have told you the only rule in this podcast is we do not mention the C word. Oh. Um, Both of them. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we refer to them as Washington. <laughs> okay. Um, because I can't say that name out loud. I quite like the whole Washington football team. Thank thing. you. It was just a bit of a mouthful. I don't think, if I am allowed to say this without saying the C word, mm-hmm. I don't think it's as bad as everyone thinks it is. It probably isn't, but I'm just being. I have nothing to. A bitter fan. It was yeah. a racial. Thank you. That's it was exactly a racial yeah. slur before. I mean. Right, it's better than a racial slur. A I think bar- we said that when I was low, texting you. A, yeah. Oh, I think I yeah. said that. It's yeah. like better than a racial slur. Dude. Yeah. I, so it's 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 a, that's a very low bar, and that is unacceptable in every way. But I don't think it's that bad. Yes. No, it's yeah. not. And it'll, again, do you know what? It'll grow on you guys. You'll lean into it. You'll you'll grow with I it. I mean, what. Must people have been thinking when they first were like, oh, we're going to name a team the Dolphins. Exactly. You no know? one's ever been That's scared true, of a dolphin. Actually. Right. Yeah. No I think, yeah, I think you'll just grow over there and it'll just become... The bad guys in Flipper. Way. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of the teams, actually, when you think about it, I was about to say, like, oh, yeah, Bengals, Panthers, they're quite scary cats. Mm. <laughs> the Bills. The Bills. The Bills is a weird yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, Chargers. Yeah, by yeah. your bed every night. <laughs> that's changed meaning a little bit yeah yeah i guess along the way i mean cardinals no one's scared of a bird that is true and i'll take any any opportunity i can to just throw some shade on them or for instance the cardinals yeah <laughs> obviously <laughs> yeah no we'll see it all depends whether we win and we won't so i can be pretty sure that i will continue to take the name while yeah. we continue to lose <laughs> i'm sorry i brought it up it's fine that's i okay. mean it's i'm used to it now you know you have to you have to deal with... Roll with the punches. Yeah, it's just yeah. constant punches, really. I'm just a punching bag. <laughs> We're a punching bag for the league. But everyone knows Riverboat Ron. We do, but the problem is not Riverboat Ron. The problem is the owner. And so while the owner is there, we'll be doomed to fail. There, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Let's talk about something more positive than well, yeah. let's oh. talk... Uh, how about <laughs> this? What about this? Oh, Here's God. a segue. Okay. Can you name the ex-Washington R-Words quarterback coach who is now currently head coach of the Super Bowl winning Los Angeles Rams. Sean McVay! Absolutely. Oh, winning Super Bowl head coach yep. Sean McVay. Okay, clipboard just came out. Why do I feel like I'm about to be tested? There was a time, by the way, where Washington had uh, Matt LaFleur, Sean McVay and Kyle Shanahan all coaching at the same well, time. Well, they were all in the championship games this year and it was yes. like, wow, Washington was stacked for a yes. moment there. I like to yeah. call that the Jay Gruden tree. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. It's not often talked about, but... Solid tree of coaching there. I mean, solid, indeed, yeah. So we are, the clipboard is out, but only because I have a bad memory. So we're going to play... Okay. It's, like, it's, like, it's a fun game. We're here for the games on this podcast. Um, when you say fun, is it the kind of fun that if it goes badly, people will be like, why on earth has she got her job and I get the sack from no. the guy? No. Okay, good. Yeah. We thought but I'm about gay. this. <laughs> we didn't want to throw you under the bus. So what we've done is... Sean McVay, as you know, great coach, inspirational man, has a lot of very inspirational quotes to his name. Oh, yeah. gosh. They're specifically called McVeighisms. Yeah. 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 But what we're going to do is it's going to be Sean McVeigh quotes. Okay. So you're going to be hit with an inspirational quote, and you've got to tell me, was it Sean McVeigh? Or was it another inspirational leader of the free world? Oh That's it. Oh, okay, so it's actually Sean McVeigh or leaders of the free world. Yeah, yeah, you don't even need to name the leader of the free world. You want to get an extra point? Go okay, for it. I might if you, if I say inspirational leaders of the free world, I know who... Donald Trump's in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, though, I know who one of them is. Um, well, sure. Well, I mean, if you're a Friends fan... Oh, that's a massive hint. Oh, okay, this this so you're not doing, you're not knowing okay. which one it is, though, is it? You know? No, that's right, true. Okay. That's true. So, should we start? Okay. Quite dun dun dun. Number, quite number one. Dun 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 dun. For one hundred pounds, is money, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> the first McVeigh quote. Mm-hmm. Love that title. Is this Sean McVeigh or not Sean McVeigh? Hundred percent stealing this guy every time. By the way, I hope you realise. Oh, you can yeah. steal it. That's fine. The standard is the standard. Standard is this. That's Sean McVeigh. And that is absolutely right. Yeah. One and oh, Hannah Wilkes off the mark yeah. in Sean McVeigh. Let's all remember this moment. Yeah. <laughs> £100 in, you've got it. I'm going to be really upset if there's not a pile of cash at the end. <laughs> I should be like Monopoly money. <laughs> Fine. McVeigh quote number two There are no regrets in life, just lessons. I don't think that is Sean McVeigh because I think he's too young to be that philosophical. 
he is, he's, yeah, I don't want to say how young he is, but he's, he's young. Um, that is not Sean McVeigh. Yes. Oh, two and oh. Bonus point, if you can name who said that quote. Oh my God, it could be literally anyone. The clue it? was what Ash believed was a giveaway when I said, unless friends. you're a Friends fan. Mm. Yeah. It's not someone in Friends, right? It is someone yeah. in Friends. Can I hear the quote again, please, Chris? There are no regrets in life, just lessons. No, it's not Matthew Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Is it one of the six Friends main characters? Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't throw a Gunther quote at you or anything. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. I've got R.I.P. that. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. I've probably got that. Um, Ross? Oh. That's not his real name, uh, David Schwimmer, but no, oh, yeah. it was Jennifer. <laughs> I thought you meant they said it on the show. No, no. let's be honest, uh, friends yeah. like that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it's always a bit confused. Life. No, that's okay, yeah. Jennifer Aniston. Oh, it's said, definitely yeah. Jennifer Aniston, mm. yeah. Okay, McVeigh, quote Actually number three. About Brad Pitt. Carry on. Yeah. You're still 2 and 0, by the <laughs> yeah. way, because you did say that wasn't Sean McVeigh, which yeah. is correct. Well done, thank you. Number three, we, not me. Oh, it's going to be Sean McVeigh. That is Ooh. Sean McVeigh teaching French. Yeah. <laughs> Rams fan here. She's got, like, getting them all right so far. Wow. Three, no, yeah. Yeah, I think it's but... more to do with my with my job, right? I can almost hear them in the context of a press conference. But or hard knocks. We did yeah. see how the Cardinals started the season and how they ended it. So True. things can go off the rails. Yes. Don't compare me to the Cardinals, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, see how you finish. Once you it's stop more like learning, more comparing me to my own fantasy football season. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair time. enough. Yeah, okay, fair play. Um, better than old uh, Owen, Owen seventeen Ash here. You did. Um, wait, uh, let's it's move my on. First year. Oh, it's it's still unacceptable. No, I won. I won. Say that with love. I won a few, um, but yeah, no, it it, it did not mm. go my way. Put it that way. It's yeah. Tragic. yeah. <laughs> um, once you stop learning, you're going to stop growing. Oh my god! Well, that could be, literally be. Anyone who's ever had any position of leadership. Or a very short teacher. Or a very short <laughs> teacher. Um, I mean, Sean McVeigh can't be talking about not learning because he's still so young. But he's got a wise face, I think. But he has got a yeah. wise And a beard and hair that does not grow. Apparently. I don't know if you're double bluffing me here, but actually I think it is Sean McVeigh. It is Sean oh, McVeigh! She didn't Fantastic. fall for it. She didn't fall for it. <laughs> Okay, you're doing fantastically well here. Thank you. Four and oh. Quite good at tests. Mm. Number five, intelligence and character. That's the goal of a true education. Not Sean McVeigh. Correct. Oh, straight off the bat, no hesitation. Mm. Love this. Because the education thing, I just don't know why we're talking about education, not football. Who do you think he is? I think it might be Barack Obama. <sighs> Close, oh. but no cigar. <laughs> okay. Only in the fact that it's a leading prominent African-American person okay um yeah who has its own day was president's day and martin luther king, martin luther yes. king Jr. Day. you see wasn't that weird no that's true i take back the look the laugh. that you gave yeah the look and laugh yeah <laughs> i felt like it wasn't a bad guess actually no it was a quite a good guess actually. Yeah, well done. we were going to include michelle in one of these but we didn't i've yeah. got that because i'm obsessed with her <laughs> yeah <laughs> right okay still doing fantastically well here five and oh McVeigh or not, you always want to surround yourself with better people than you. I think that's Sean McVeigh. That is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think we found ourselves like a true, true Rams fan here. I, well, I mean, some or inspirational say. quote fan. Or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should see my house; it's full of good love. Yeah. <laughs> Just full of t-shirts. It is not. <laughs> It is not. I am basic, but not that basic. <laughs> Disclaimer: <laughs> It's not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, so only two more to go. We're looking for a clean sweep here. Oh, the pressure! Yeah. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. Not McVeigh. Correct. He's short and snappy, but that is beautiful. Who said that? Ralph Waldo Emerson. Wow, I definitely wouldn't have got that. I don't think I know who that is. Yeah. Should I know who that is? Uh, it's American no. author. I don't know how uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I learned this this morning as well, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And to go fully clean sweep, there is no one I'd rather have as my quarterback. I love Jared Goff. Was this Sean McVeigh or Motor City Dan Campbell? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sean McVeigh said it like a week before he sent him to the <laughs> <Yes>, He did! <laughs> he did! And with that, oh. the inaugural 
game. Hannah Wilkes knocks what every single one sweet. out See? of the park. Champions. Oh, wow. I mean, you've set the bar for every other game we're going to play during this podcast yeah. season now. Yeah. Um, so if no one else has a clean sweep, what was that, 10 from 10? Uh, uh, 8 from 8. 8, eight, from eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if no one else does that, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a prize. We're going to have to have you back. I'll pick um, something from these magical rails. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> you can. And I will give you a small discount. Um, so generous. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was funny because we used to do a podcast with... Um, the uh, the NBL show, which is where you know we were talking to FBA and stuff, and the worst player was Hugh Jackson, and right. so we, it, you're the opposite to Hugh Jackson. So we played a game okay. with Hugh Jackson called "Who Do You Think You Are," oh my God, I love these where puns. we yeah. covered Hip his puns. face, mm. where we covered a well-known Hugh's face with Hugh Jackson's face, and we had to say "Who Are You?" basically, nice. and he didn't know anyone. He didn't know who Hugh Grant was. He didn't know who. You know the, do you know every Chris that's ever lived? Just particularly they the were easy sphere. ones, I'm not going to lie. Okay, there aren't that many famous I mean, Hugh Jackman. Like You're thinking Jackman, Hefner. It, that was in there. I mean, um, the, robe, the robe gives it away. My favourite one was Hugh, Huey Lewis and the Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> just a whole bunch of Hughes. <laughs> yeah, it was, a lot. it was just him five times. But anyway, you are not Hugh Jackson, which no, is I'm a not. wonderful thing that's, for anyone to be able to yeah. say. <laughs> oh, no, but I love this. Setting the bar high. Um, I try to. I like, like to set a standard, Ash. Yeah, well, well, I'm the, standard yeah. The, standard. the standard yeah. is the standard. The standard is the standard. Oh, bring it all God, back. what a roundabout way! I love that. I know. Yeah. And with that, I think that rounds off episode one of yeah. and the NFL. Oh, but no, Hannah, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Oh no, a pleasure. I mean, yeah, I think you know. At the end, we would love to have you back on. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, you've you've won that game, clean sweep. Mm-hmm. I'm just sad I couldn't bring in more so- stories of celebrities from the Super Bowl, but I could tell you how producer Greg splits trousers. Oh, uh, let's save that for next yeah, time. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Anna. No, no, thank you so much. <laughs> um. It just seems to be the natural instinct of hogs that when they see a Dallas Cowboys jersey, they want to tear it apart. I don't want to sit here all off-season again hearing about Dallas.